live anytime. Okay. Hi, uh, we're here, um, Susan Sun Nanamaker with sunisthefuture.net, and I'm here standing in front of the Middlebury College. Uh, re your design team? Yeah. Is, uh, Self Reliance is Self -reliance? the name of the house. Right. And then also, your name is Malaka? Yeah, Malaka. Malaka. Can you spell that? M E L A K E. Okay. Is that, what's your last name? Um, Getavitcha. Getavitcha. Okay. Um, Malaka is going to tell us something about the Self Reliance design of the Middlebury College. Please. Okay. Um, we, we started with the idea of a typical Vermont um, farmstead house. So we kept like the gable form of a traditional house and our main idea was um, to make a livable, comfortable house that um, comfortably fits a family of four and we wanted it to be net zero obviously. And um, we concentrated first on passive ways of reducing our energy. So we didn't want to use a whole ton of new technology so we started with creating the envelope of the house being really insulated. We've got like 11 inch walls, I think 22 inch on the ceilings with just pure insulation and that really helps us keep all the heat and reduce the amount of energy that we use to start with. So it's a lot easier to compensate with solar and hot water heating and like the HVAC heating system. I also noticed just by looking on the roof, you have something not just a straight panel, right? You are using you oh, the right uh, vacuum, yeah, the vacuum tubes. That's, the um, tubes. yeah, so. that's part of our hot water heating system. Oh, and it's, good. yeah, solar heated and... So it's a combination. Yeah. And uh, your design as a whole seems to be also paying attention to the passive. So it's an integration of the both passive and active Yeah, system. we started that's with passive and then made up what we couldn't with active. Good. Yes, it's uh, a lot of times uh, wanting to consider, taking into consideration the passive system is also important. Yeah. Uh, and save a lot and we'll also save in addition to being able to produce the energy. Yeah. And, um, all right. and what about this, uh, any particular reason for the color choice, for example? Um, the color choice, well, we wanted, like, lots of traditional farmhouses are either black or red in Vermont, and as well, we wanted the wood, or most wood has, like, it's old and it's been sort of weathered down, so just the black coloring helps it on its way to getting a more weathered look that we wanted to have on it. Besides, uh, did you expect to win the marketability? Uh, oh, no, no, actually, Middlebury, right? Didn't they uh, win the marketability uh, yeah. contest? Yeah, well, we definitely, we definitely tried our best at it, and we're... I, th I think that the people who really worked hard at this definitely yeah. deserved it. But, yeah, I don't know if we expected it, but we certainly think we deserved it. Um, there are 85 students all together. Um, they're from 25 different majors, and they weren't necessarily working it, at it all at the same time. Like, each semester you'd get some new and some old and stuff like that. percentage of your team members are thinking of becoming entrepreneurs, maybe going into solar energy industry? Any of um, I ever I, thought about it? I really can't tell you. I know the just environmental studies as a major is giant at Middlebury and so I don't know what path on the environmental studies people are thinking of, but um, Well think about it. There's yeah. a lot of opportunities. I think I think out there. I'm sure you could find a lot. Mm -hmm. Not to mention there's a lot of uh, incentive right now in the uh, uh, all kinds. Uh, yeah, the environmental field is oh. growing really rapidly and it's really exciting. Yes, mm. we have to move on to your renewable energy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have to. Um, there's no doubt about it. So we hope uh, a lot of you are thinking in that. Um, yeah. There's all kinds of uh, uh, methods and, and routes to start a small business in this area. And uh, thank you very much. Anything unexpected that happened that you would like to share with us? Um, I mean, you got fourth, and that was pretty awesome, awesome seeing this yes. how small of a school Since we are. all 19 uh, teams are very, you can see a lot of the designs, are, they're all very good. So yeah. coming in fourth is fantastic. Yeah, we were, this was the first time a liberal arts college, too, has been in the competition unattached oh. to any sort of, like, okay. engineering 
or yes, yeah, that is. architecture um, school. Yeah, that is. So we were really one of the few of that. ones, yes. Yeah. And what about cost? How much did they end up costing? Um, for, for well, to replicate the house would be around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and um, like all, <laughs> I'll wait a little bit. <laughs> all, oh, I'll wait a little bit. Altogether, the house costs us like buying all the material to build it and everything cost around six hundred thousand dollars. But that was because we also had to build it with like a modular, as a modular house so we could transport it down here. How many pieces did you have to transport it here? Um, we have six different roof mods and you can kind of see the breaks in them. And there are two floor modules. And um, so we had to have those able to sort of stand on their own. So there's a lot of like supported steel structures that wouldn't really be necessary if it was just put all together. So that added a lot to cost too. What year student are you? I'm a junior now. Oh, very good. Well, well I wish you very good luck. And it's wonderful, isn't it, to be on the team? Yeah. And learn a lot and yeah. get to see a lot of it's people really involved. Just in being here. Yes, you can feel the energy. Yeah. There's a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of optimism. I noticed that in the whole solar industry, too. Yeah. And, uh, well, signing off, here is Susan Sandalamikar with Sun is the Future with Malaki. I have trouble pronouncing that. Yeah, Don't lots you? of people do. <laughs> uh, Malaka. Malaka. Yeah. Okay, with Middlebury College at Self Reliance Design. Thank you very much. Have a good day.